I'm afraid that I don't have my PhD or any Nobel Prize, but um, I do have passion, motivation, and as many Oscars as Leonardo DiCaprio, so <laughs> I'm going to give this a shot. And I'm going to need this thing. <laughs> okay. Last year, my junior year, I transferred to Beaver Country Day School, and I loved the innovative environment. It wasn't long before I was dreaming of a project of my own, a vending machine business. Now, who does that? It wasn't quite that easy. I had to convince school management, and there was a non-compete clause with the existing vendor, so I couldn't sell any food or drink, but that wasn't going to stop me. What about a school store? So I revised my business plan, and I continued to meet with the head of school and director of finance until eventually, eventually, they agreed to let me give it a try. The project wasn't financed, so I had to work on my own tight budget, but I bought and rebuilt a used vending machine and set out to begin my venture. So what on earth do you sell in a school store? I, out of a vending machine, I don't know. But the majority of my products are either office supplies or electronics. I also have some spirit items. Currently, I'm selling a custom iPhone case for my school. Um, I designed and manufactured it with my 3D printer. So there is some innovation involved as well, and there's a lot of creativity. <laughs> All right. So being the, geek, <laughs> being the geek that I am, I thought that office supplies would be the best sellers. But to my surprise, three quarters of my uh, sales are actually from electronics. So I guess I, I, maybe I overestimated teenagers' uh, ability to work in school. I, I don't know. Something along those lines. But um, Product selection has been really important, as I do go to a laptop school and the market's really unique. So it's been a really interesting journey to find distributors that are not only meeting the quality and the affordable prices, but also have the unique products that teenagers are actually going to be interested in. All right, so as we all know, things don't usually go as planned. And in this project, nothing happened the way it was supposed to. So it broke again and again. And I was constantly reading service manuals or searching the internet to fix the myriad of the problems that were occurring. But this was an incredible learning experience. I didn't know anything about mechanical or electrical engineering or troubleshooting or anything really before starting this project. But um, coming out of it, I can tell you that I've learned quite a bit. One of my biggest inspirations has been NewView, an innovation design program affiliated with MIT with experienced coaches. These coaches have helped us turn our ideas into realities as we create real products. And thanks to this program, I've been able to do what I've been able to do. So I'm very grateful for them. So what have I learned from my mother? <laughs> vending machine. All right. <laughs> Patience. Excel in fundamentals of accounting. Principles of marketing. And how to troubleshoot. But there's a bigger picture to this story. Could schools use this valuable learning experience to teach students about business? Or could they use other projects involving experiential learning? This project has been extremely valuable to me. It's taught me about business, supply chain management, accounting, marketing, or broader skills such as collaboration or troubleshooting. It's been valuable to me. I was working with my hands and thinking for myself, and I hope it can be valuable to others. Thank you.